Hi guys, my name is Tanmoy and welcome to another session of Study PPC. Today we are going to look at how to set up conversion tracking of Google Ads on our website. Conversion tracking is one of the features provided by Google Ads with the help of which you can track your conversions coming through Google Ads Click. It's a very simple process wherein a programming code is provided to you from Google Ads and you can paste it on your website. We paste the code on our page where we are tracking our conversions with the help of which automatically conversion starts getting recorded inside our Google Ads account. So let's have a look how we can do this. In order to set up conversion tracking guys, we are going to go to tools and under measurement, you can see conversions. So the process is going to be pretty simple wherein we have to fill up a form and once we submit this form, the code gets generated. We can take the code and we can go to our CMS tool and through that we can paste the code on our website. So let's have a look. So here, once you're on this page, guys, we can click on plus button. Now this gives us an option to track conversions for different things. We can do website conversion tracking, app conversion tracking, phone call conversion tracking as well. And if we require, we can do importing of data from GA and other external sources to track conversions. So for today's session, I'm going to look at website conversion tracking. So this is the form guys, which we have to fill up. And once we fill up this form, the code will be generated in the next page. So let's begin. So the first thing they're asking us to provide is the category. What type of an action do we want to track? So you can select the option based on the nature of business you are into. They give you multiple options over here. So you can pick the option which suits your business the best. So let's say we are doing purchase and here we have to give the conversion name. So like this, you can give a name to this conversion action and then comes value. Value basically means the price of the product which you're selling on the website. So in this scenario, we have three options which we can choose from. The first scenario talks about a case wherein we use the same value for each conversion. This is a scenario wherein you're into a B2B business and you're selling one type of a product. In that case, the value will not change. So you can choose this option and give the price of the product over here. The second option is when we use different values for each conversion. Now this is specifically for e-commerce companies where we're selling multiple products and each has different prices. In such a scenario, we choose the second option and we can get the code and we add the values in it hard code, okay? And then what we get into is the last option, which is going to be don't use a value, which is a case wherein we are dealing with an, we have an e, non e-commerce company where we are basically want to track the number of leads generated or the kind of signups which has happened. So based on the nature of business you belong to, choose the right type of a value over here. And then we get into count. Count is basically two types, every and one, which is going to select how many conversions are happening. So keeping account of the conversions. So every is used when you are into an e-commerce company and you want to keep account of every single purchase happening. One is used when you belong to a non e-commerce company and you want to keep a track of all the number of leads signups, which you have generated. So choose the one accordingly. Then we are coming to click through conversion window. This is basically a time frame which we set within which if a conversion happens, it is taken into record. If the conversion happens outside the window, then it is not attributed for. Then we also have a view through conversion window, which is a time frame in which if a person comes back after viewing the ad and converts and purchases a product, we can consider that as to be a view through conversion. Include in conversions means basically we are trying to include all the conversions which are going to be happening post implementation of this code. When you include them, they start coming up in the conversions column and the conversion value column. And the last one which we have is attribution model, which is basically a type wherein we have like six different types of attribution models, which you can apply to our conversions so that we can understand what kind of business suits us best. So this basically helps to understand the what kind of keywords are really working for us and eventually we can increase their bids or put them in a 
much better bidding strategy. Once you fill up all this information guys, we can create and continue. And now we are coming to the page where we can set up the code. Now for this, Google provides us with three options. The first is we can install the tag ourselves. If we understand programming, you can go ahead with this. The second is email the tag, which means if you have a programmer who has built your website, you can email it to that person and then he, that person can go ahead and paste it on the, on the website. And the last is you can make use of the Google Tag Manager steps to do, to do this. So what we're going to look at is the first one, which is going to be, let's say we understand coding. So we'll have a look at this. So now with respect to conversion tracking, guys, there are two codes which we need to deal with. The first one is called a global site tag, which is this one. Okay. So this code has to go on every single page of the website. As mentioned over here, we have to follow the instructions and we can, we have to paste it on every single page if it has not been installed yet. If the code has been installed through, let's say, Google Analytics, then we just need to go ahead and copy the config command below and add it to every instance of global site tag right above the slash script end tag. Third, if the tag has already been implemented before by any other conversion tracking action, then we don't need to conduct the first step. Let's say that program conversion tracking was never implemented on the website. So we are going with the first option. We're going to take this code and keep it aside. Next, we are coming into event snippet. Now this is the second code we need to deal with. Now this code goes on the thank you page of the website. So for which Google provides us with two, two options. One is page load, which is this code. This code is primarily used if you are dealing with a non, with a e-commerce company then we are supposed to paste this code and click is used for a non e-commerce company. So this will be the code which will paste on that website. The process remains the same wherein we have to copy it and paste it between head and slash head tags of the page. You, we will be tracking. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this code as well and keep it aside. Now that the code is with us, a uh, very important piece which we need to do over here is uh, a lot of times people make a mistake of pasting the whole code in this particular format and it does not work. So it is very important that we remove the headings of it. Otherwise it will not fire properly. So now this will be the total complete code which we need to paste on our website. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my website and then we'll go into my, my CMS tool, Wix, which I've used to build my website and we'll see the process of how to implement it, how to paste it on that. So this is the website guys, which I maintain. So I'm going to go to the builder of it. So I make use of, I've used Wix over here to build my website. So I've just logged into my website and this is my dashboard screen. Now on the dashboard itself, on the left panel, if you go, you will find settings. In settings, if you go to the bottom of the page, you will come to advanced settings. And in advanced settings, there is custom code. It says add custom code snippets to the head or body of your site. So we go here and this is the head part of it, body and the bottom part of it. So let's say I want to paste that specific code at the bottom end. So I can go on add code. I'll go back to my code, copy it. And here I'm going to paste the code as given as instructed over here. So now you can see the code has been pasted. And now what I can do is since it depends on you whether you want to install this on all the pages or if you want to paste it on specific pages so you can do that in that manner as well. Let's say I want to paste it on specific pages so I can choose the second option and this gives me options to select on which pages of my site do I want to paste the code. So I'm saying that I want to do it on the top 
which is the main page of my website and I apply. So now that the code has been pasted, now we can go back to our website. And now over here, if you see, I've also installed the Google Tag Manager. So if I click on it right now, as you can see, it is not firing any specific tag, any Google conversion tracking code. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh the page. And now again, I will try to open the Google Tag Manager in extension. And here now you can see the code is firing. It comes with a smiley, green smiley, which clearly explains that the code has been pasted successfully. So now we can say that the code has been implemented. So you can go back to your Google Ads and you can click on next and you can say done. In this simple manner, guys, we can set up our conversion tracking of our Google Ads on our website. And from now onwards, whenever any conversion happens on the website through Google Ads, it will automatically get recorded in the Google Ads account. I hope you were able to understand this and this video was useful. If you have any questions, guys, feel free to write in the comment section and I would be happy to help you out with that. Thank you so much, guys.